Well, welcome back everybody here to the Tim Miles Show and we're going to switch gears from men's basketball and talk some women's basketball. We're joined by junior Kim Mestong and of course head coach Kristen Holt. Thank you both for uh, joining us and uh, well, Kristen, let's talk about uh, your junior right here, leading you in scoring for the second consecutive year and uh, uh, I know she is a key part to the 12 wins here so far this year. She is. She's just been phenomenal for us uh, her whole career here and um, what amazes me is that uh, teams lock in on her, you know, every single night, and that's the focus of their game plan. And she still does what she does, and she's um, become a very hard worker. Uh, she works extremely hard in practice and has really developed her game into what it is today. Yeah. Have you noticed a difference from last year to this year on how teams defend you? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's really more tight. I, they barely help off anymore, so it's even... Harder to get open and yeah. get my shots. Kim, uh, obviously from uh, from Belgium, and uh, great to get you here at Colorado State. How do you end up going from Belgium to Fort Collins, Colorado? Um, I don't know. I wanted to play in college, and then Coach Lean recruited in Belgium, so he kind of met my dad, and then they started talking, and then we let it rest for a while, and all of a sudden it popped back up, and I was like, okay. <laughs> now, your, your dad's a basketball coach, too, yes, right? Yes, he is. Okay. So, so Coach Lean, I know he, Kristen, has a lot of those ties to, yeah. to Europe. Right. Yeah, he was over there recruiting, and gosh, how lucky did we get getting somebody <laughs> like Kim. Um, I had not seen her play, just on film. Uh, and uh, so I, I just said, I trust you, Dick. You, you know, if, if you think she can play. Uh, and, and he said, oh, she can. And, uh, and like I said, she's really developed her game ever sure. since she's been here. I mean, I, she could shoot the three, but I don't think she even thought that she could shoot it as well as, as she has. Um, and she's really worked at it. She has great range. I wish she'd shoot it just after half court, but she isn't to that confidence level yeah. yet. <laughs> well, hey, Jimmer Fredette does it on the I know, side. that's what I say. <laughs> Kim He's <not> real. <laughs> I, know. I know, some of some of the things you see out of him, it's like, wait a minute, did I, did I just see that? Uh, Kim, talk about your college career, because you had a nice freshman season, but but you really blossomed last year. Was it a confidence thing? What, what was the transformation? Um, I don't know, freshman year, it was just, I'm playing like a freshman, I guess, <laughs> and not really that confident in what I could do. And then sophomore, I really stepped it up. I feel like I had to. I mean, with the team we had, I, I mean, it started going good, and I was like gaining more confidence, and that helps a lot. Yeah. 16.4 points per contest, the leading scorer for the Rams as she was last year. Colorado State split a couple of games this past week, got a big road win down at San Diego and then a home loss to, to Wyoming. But Kristen, that San Diego game, that's a Aztec basketball team. I know it struggled a little bit this year, but that's still as talented as any team in the conference and to beat them at their place is huge. Well, they were a sweet 16 team last year and they have three kids uh, from the starting lineup last year that return. Uh, they're very good. I, I, they're going to win more games yet this year, and uh, that was a great win for us, one of our best wins of the year. Just loved how our kids played. We played really hard, and uh, Kim was tremendous in that game. She scored the threes, but she was taking it to the basket and um, just did a nice job in leading our group. Yeah, that's not an easy place to go in and win, Kim, and you guys got the job done. Yeah, it was really great to play because I felt like we did it as a team, and no matter what we did, we, were, we stick together. and. We got it done. Yeah, that's always fun to go down to VA House Arena and get a win. Came back against Wyoming, and Kristen, does Wyoming just have your number this year? Well, they're pretty good. I mean, sure. they are a good team. Um, you know, we, we were ready for that game. Uh, they Vandiver, who is their leading scorer, just she had a great game, and uh, we, we couldn't stop her. And, um, you know, I'd, I'd like another shot at her again. I mean, I, you know, I don't think it's a case of where we can't can't beat those guys. Uh, we would have to play a lot better defensively. But, um, and we may see them. We may see them in the tournament. And if, if that's the case, then that means we've advanced pretty far into the tournament. And uh, I'd take that any day. Yeah. Aubrey Vandeveer of Wyoming went for a career-high 35 points in the game. Uh, Kim, did you guys feel maybe coming off that San Diego State game that you guys m might play better than you did on Saturday against Wyoming? Did you, did you think you would give them a better game? Oh, um, we definitely knew we would not play like we did at yeah. Wyoming. Yeah. But... I still thought we would do. I thought it we we would do better than what we did Saturday, and yeah. we just couldn't find an answer for find yeah. her. Well, the good news is is that you get more games to bounce back. The Rams will go down to the pit in Albuquerque. Do, 
do you enjoy playing at, a, at an arena like that? Yeah, I like it a lot. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, everyone is against you, but I still like it. Yeah. I still I like to play there. Well, it's it's even more, even though the place is loud and they're cheering against you, does it spark you a little bit more since it's not an empty arena? Yeah, exactly. And it's more like us against them, that feeling. It's a good feeling. Yeah. I like it. Well, Kristen, in New Mexico will be looking for some revenge against you guys. And uh, we were just talking. I don't know when the last time the CSU women went down to the pit and won, but I, I know you like your chances. Well, it's been a year of first for a lot of teams that we've played, and uh, that would be a nice one for us to get that win down there. They're playing a lot better, a lot much, uh, much better than when we played them the first time, and so it'll be a, a tough challenge, but I, I think we'll be ready to play. Yep, and of course, uh, the Lobos always play a lot better down at the pit. Yeah. Well, uh, great season so far. Kim, great year. Thanks for joining us. No Thank problem. You. All right, Thank you. Kristen Holt and uh, junior Kim Mestog joining us here on the program. Stay with us. One more segment left as we'll be rejoined by Coach Tim Miles. Stay with us.